Space. It's huge. So huge, in fact, that if you lost your car keys in it, they would be almost impossible to find. Luckily for Ratchet, Captain Copernicus L. Quark was on the case. His mission, rescue the Lombax's one and only friend. Yep, without Clank, Ratchet was alone in the universe. Alone. 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 You realize this ship has an ejector seat, right? Sorry. I guess you could say I've been a little antsy in my pansy at the thought of getting back into the hero business. <laughs> yep. These wild stallions have been in the stable too long. <laughs> right. Look, just keep your eyes peeled. Talon says this sector's crawling with mercenaries. Rest easy, my friend. My vigilance is both eternal and peripheral. Warning. Warning. Unidentified anomaly detected. Hang on. Shifting to evasive maneuver. We're gonna die! We're gonna die! Oh, good thing I'm wearing clean underwear! Will you shut up? We are not gonna die! A billion! Engage gravimetric stabilizers! Negative. Stabilizers offline. Thrusters offline. Landing flaps offline. All right. No, we're gonna die. No! Much for clean underwear. Where the heck are we? Beats me. Perhaps a leisurely stroll through this uncharted jungle will solve the mystery. Maroon, a hostile alien planet. Captain Quark realized his rescue mission would inevitably pit him against the most terrifying evil of all, nature itself. Ah! Slight problem. I am not so good with swimming. Just wait here. I'll find you another way across. Oh, great. This rain is gonna be murder on my spandex. What's the plan, anyway? Well, where there are bridges, there are people. Where there are people, there are ships. You see where I'm going with this? Hey, that's pretty smart. You're gonna make a great sidekick. Look at this beautiful native craftsmanship. Take that, culture. Whoa, Quark, are you seeing this? Something is seriously wrong with this planet. Uh, it's like time is all not working. You stupid door! I'll find another way around. Are you gonna be all right with those things on the loose? Help! The parents are here! <laughs> you see the size of those things? They were horrible! Come on, maybe there's a concern for his companion's well-being. Captain Quark's noble sidekick ninja leaps from stone to stone. Follow him. Six deadly engines of crystal blue water. The door! With his enemies vanquished, Captain Quark steals into the jungle. Blaster at the ready, prepared to deliver swift justice to those who cross his path. Welcome back! 
This door is a jar. Oh, help! Please! Please help me! My children! They're in danger! What seems to be the problem, citizen? Xyphoids. We were fishing up the river when they attacked. Quark, stay here. I'll go save the children. You got it, sidekick. You might take it. Obviously, here is no Happy to be of service, ma'am. The Xyphoids will be back soon. Come! We have to get into the village. So, what are these things? Mutated viruses from the Quartho Factor. We haven't seen them on this planet in years. Something must have happened to the Zoni. Alpheus, open the door! Anessa, what are you doing out here? The Xyphoids are back. There must be something wrong with the Timekeeper. Not in front of the outsiders. Quickly, we must head into the village. These creatures are the least of our worries right now. Well, one of the elders spotted Lord Vorsalon's warship over the falls. That raven must be making trouble again. safe. Come, we can offer you sanctuary within these walls. I saw your starship crash on the other side of the ridge. I believe we may be of assistance. Well, the ship's trashed. There's no way we'll be able to repair it. Ah, but the Zoni can. Meet me at the Temple of Zan whenever you're ready. I will explain everything. <laughs> In memory of Zan Gribnak, father, friend, and chief of the Fungoids. <laughs> Looks like this guy was some sort of hero.
Your starship is not beyond repair. Well, but fixing it will take powers beyond anything this universe has ever seen. Powers not to be taken lightly. Can you keep a secret? Well... These Zoni are powerful creatures, capable of almost anything. Well, but they are also hive minds, and must be kept together for their energy to work. Inside is a vessel which will allow you to rescue lost Zoni well, and harness their bioenergy. Follow me, and don't touch anything. We'll have to seal you inside until you recover the vessel. Are you sure you don't want to stay here? Well, we have a lovely miniature golf course. I'll be fine. Quark, link into my nav unit. We'll stay in radio contact. Copy that. Operation Red Shirt is a go. Surviving situations like this is to avoid phrases like it's too quiet in here or everything's going to be all right. Got it. I'm through. I'm through. Let's hope this vessel is worth it. According to the Chief, it's one of a kind. Brought to this dimension by Orvis and entrusted to the Fongoids. And he's sure it'll fix Aphelion? He said it'll do a lot more than that. Zoni Bioenergy is the most powerful resource in the Omniverse. I mean, you survived! <laughs> I told you we'd do it! Well done! The vessel is yours! <laughs> Stallions out of the stable? I was born ready. Leave after Nefarious was clear as to the repercussions of leaving your hovel. The clock is ours. Whoa, uh, wait. Who? Dr. Nefarious has no authority here, villain. In fact, I'm not even entirely convinced he's a real doctor. So return my sidekick's pal before I bring the thunder. You win again, technology! To the exile, bring the rest in for question. They're kidnapping the villagers! We have to stop them!
secret passageway that will take you back to your ship. Stay close. This is the last shred of technology in the entire village. I was always meaning to dismantle it, but now I'm glad I didn't. This teleporter will take you back to your ship. Well, follow me! Use this Zoni vessel to repair your starship! Come in. Do you read me? It's good to hear your voice, Ratchet. They've got us in these containment cells, and they're coming with food. Oh, thank heaven, they're coming with... Tap water? You animals! Would you just listen to me? I need you to activate the nav beacon on your belt. Can you do that? Good. Now hang tight. I'm on my way. Warning! Hostile ships detected. Point of origin appears to be the same as Captain Hawk's mail beacon. Sir, Bob, the prisoners has requested to speak with you. He appears to be my to Corbury. After proof. Uh, hey, Mr. Ursula. Uh, my name's Captain Cork. Maybe you've heard of me. Savior of Solana, number 97 in Kerwan's 100 most eligible bachelors. <laughs> anyway, uh, you seem like a reasonable floating head in a so I was wondering if we could settle this without violence. Insolent creature! Your request has fallen on deaf ears. The only future you may hope for is a quick and merciful Ship. Where are they holding you? I don't know. It's a big cell with some sort of containment field. God, it smells like my high school gym locker. All right. Maintain radio silence. I'll contact you when I'm inside. Escaped 
active in auxiliary server room. Um, detention wing? Wow, I can't believe that worked. What was that? Nothing. Insolent creature! Give me the location of the rebel ever! That wasn't Azimuth, it was just a young Lombax! It's the Green One's sidekick! We're saved! I knew you'd come for us. It's good to see you, Ratchet. Now we need to find a way out. What's your name? The child. Hurl yourself into this laser wall as hard as you can. Hey, mister. What about the Versafuse? If you pull it out, it might lower the field. We did it! Everyone follow me! I'll get us out of here. Stay quiet. You don't want to set off the alarm. Alert! Alert! There is a car the fungoids to safety. Okay, anybody need to use the bathroom? I don't want to leave the loading bay and then here one of you has to go. The onboard computer says there's a manual switch somewhere in that room. Check the grav ramp. Escape route. It 
creature! You've meddled in Dr. Nefarious' plans for the last time! Prepare to be killed by... Wait for it... Lord Orsalon! <laughs> The galactic map has been updated with coordinates to the Vila sector. Got it. Thanks, Quark. I'll head over there now. Volgrim Pass. Volgrim mm, Pass. Where the exile dwells. It is beyond this hollow. But we do not grant entrance to outsiders. They must find it for themselves. Talk to him. 
Quark, I don't think that's such a good idea. Normally I'd agree with you, but the Fungoids insist that I leave as soon as possible. They have paid the Agorians to come pick me up. Isn't that yeah. nice? I'll keep you posted. Work out. Welcome, outsider. I apologize for the ruse, but we like to keep our operation away from the prying eyes of galactic authorities. Come, you have proven yourself worthy. Volgrim Pass is on the other side of the hollow, but you must be aware that there is a dangerous exile there. Most of our kind do our best to stay away from him. Why? What do you do? Oh, you know, attacked one of Nefarious' transports. Or Salon's outpost in Corthos. The usual rebel stuff. Ah, here we are. Oh, not again. Do me a favor and set that battery pod, will ya? Good for nothing creatures never stay in their sockets.
Excuse me, uh, hi. Do you know where I can find Alistair Azimuth? so we can talk? Try this! You're starting to annoy me! How about a barbecue? Ha! You should have trained more before coming for me! I've toyed with you, Logan. Not bad. It almost quarters on Ellen. Son. Forgive me, General Alistair Asmuth, Forbolt Magistrate of the Lombax Praetorian Guard, Elder Councilman for the Center for Advanced Lombax Research, and you, my dear boy, look just like your father. I have so many questions. How did you know him? Caden and I were good friends. He was a great Lombax, smart as they could come. He was the first outsider to theorize that the Great Clock even existed. And this clock, you think Clank's in there? Clock is a rather crude translation of the runes on Quantos. Specifically, they say Keeper of Time. But yes, I suspect he is. You see, according to Fungoid lore, the Zoni are the guardians of time. If your friend is connected to them, he must play some part in its operation. Where are those blasted things? Wait, I thought my father was the only one to stay behind when the Lombaxes left. Why didn't you go with them? Sometimes the universe has a cruel sense of humor. Ah, here they are. Your father's hover boots. Ready for your first lesson? If you're going to stop Nefarious, you're going to have to learn how to outmaneuver him. Used properly, these hover boots will give you exactly the edge you need. Now, back straight, legs bent slightly at the knee, and engage. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, take them for a spin. If you want to turn, just shift your weight. The boosters will take care of the rest. Ah! I see you found the accelerator! I've set up a small practice course for you over here. Come on back when you're ready to give it a shot. Well, looks like you've got the basics down. Now let's try something a bit more challenging, like this hover boot course.
Well done. You're a faster learner than your father. I have one final test set up over there. Are you ready? All right. Follow me. Ah! And now for your final exam. We'll test your speed as well as your skill. You must complete the course and grab every flare along the way in under a minute. If you succeed, I may just let you keep those hover boots. I've ever seen. Nice work, Ratchet. Ion coils might be a bit rusty. <clears throat> You'll get used to them. Thanks. So what now? Storm Nefarious' stronghold? Force him to tell us where the clock is, huh? Nefarious would be foolish to reveal that information to us, no matter what we do to him. But we have an advantage I did not have before. A contact inside the clock. Clank? How are we gonna talk to him? General, my ship's this way? No thanks. I brought my own. Meet me in Axiom City, planet Tarachnos! What are we looking for in Axiom City? A way to talk to Clank! Ratchet, come in. I've keyed into your nav unit so we can communicate. Copy that. So, what's in Axiom City? A company called Pollux Industries. Nefarious hired them to locate Zoni technology. They keep a database of every obsidian eye in the universe. Oh, yeah. I found one once back on Murdergra. Uh, too bad the Hulafoids dismantled it. Pollux won't just let us waltz into the building. I'm ready. Be there as soon as I can.
Convex F to destroy our terminal? Take some initiative, Gore-Tex. All we have to do is reset the system manually. Another Lombax. Come back to vandalize more equipment? Mind your manners. Any super-intelligent being can see that this is a different Lombax. My colleague is just upset about the rebel azimuth destroying the terminal. The firefight triggered Axiom's defensive grid, and now the entire city's closed off. Maybe you can help. What's he gonna do? Fly over the grid and activate the reboot switches? Ah! I'd love to see that. and his troops. Let's see if I can activate this transport tube now that the lockdown's over. Here you go! This ought to take you right to Nurox Plaza. Transport tube activated. Good luck, love. Ready to come in. I'm in position for public streets and security around the entire plaza. All oh, system robot. Why would he help nefarious? Probably for the same reason Forcelon is. To use the clock for their own personal gain. Why do I get the feeling this clock is Because it moves time to the near 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 control room called the Orvis Chamber. Think of what Nefarious can do with the power to control time. I have to go. Call me as soon as you reach Neurox. away from the building. We'll have to find another point of entry. Someone on the inside can help us. Someone who works for Nefarious? Actually, he's a data miner at Pollux Industries. I saved him from becoming food for the Agorians. Elizabeth, what are you doing on this frequency? The entire city is looking for you! I'm here to cash in on that favor, Jarvis. We need a way inside Pollux Industries.
backup arrives. What we have to do is ionize the hologram's powered conduit. That should give your hover boots enough thrust to send you into the maintenance hatch. Sounds simple enough. Not exactly. It'll take all three of us. I'm activating the transport ramps to the west side of the plaza. Head there now and await further instructions. The transport ramps are up. Follow me. I have Clank to translate stuff like this. Can you say that again in non-geek speak? When the general lowers the defense grid, you just activate all the switches I send to you. Got it. Lowering defense grid. Now. Okay, I'm in. Thinking power switches to your nav unit now. Removing safeguard and nav sinking now. chance to back out. Age before beauty, General. <laughs> Wise guy, just like your father. Follow me! You made it. Come on, the main office is this way. Attention, the bioscan reveals two long boxes in main server room, mobilizing all units. Blasted. Bioscans. You take the left, I'll cover the right. Attention! Oh, my God. 
the opposite lane. I'll distract them from here. You find a way to circle behind them. Forever. Hold on. I'll activate the energy bridge. Nice work. Gonna block a few for me. Reward over consequence, right? You're a fast learner. Come on. We're almost there. Sixty wizard with melee ability. <laughs> that hurt my pride and my solar plexus. Looks like there's an obsidian eye somewhere in Krill Canyon. I can't lock on any closer. Greetings, my old friend. Been a long time. I'm thrilled you're here to witness my greatest triumph. And look, you've met the elder. Pity the first Lombax you meet is the shame of his entire race! So what is it this time, Nefarious? You still trying to turn everyone into robots? Or is it just good old-fashioned galactic domination? Part of me wants to let you live long enough to find out. The other part really wants to kill you. You know, for old time's sake. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Attention, VX-99 detected. Evacuate all stations. Well, at least we know what he went with. That thing will level the entire city just to get to us. Come on, we have to take it out. I'll cover you from the air. You just find a way to stall it. Stall it? It's the size of a building! How do I get myself into these situations?
Ratchet, come in. I'm setting a course for planet Lumos. It's in the Corthos sector. ships inbound. I see them. The Valkyries. Expert pilots away from Nefarious. I'll lose them in the asteroid belt. You'll just head for Lumos.
Perfect timing. I've triangulated the Obsidian Eye's location, somewhere in these caves. Follow me. Well... We have to find a way to raise that mining platform. Luckily, I come prepared. There. Head to the bottom, see if you can raise the platform. I'll cover you from here. Your father and I used to come here all the time when we were children. Back when this was a raritanium mine. Looks all dried up now, but believe me, this whole place used to be We'd sneak in. Probably through the darkness. Cade knows what goes on right over there. We had some good times out here. Nice job, Ratchet! I knew you could do it! Come on, get back up here and let's find that eye! That's a Hydra plan! Looks ripe enough to spring you back to the surface! Try jumping on it! Yeah. You did well. Come on, let's search the caves. Hold up. See that nest over there? Tetramites. Stay close, and whatever happens, no, let them touch you. What happens if they do? Let's just say they can digest anything. Now remember, tetramites hate water. If we can get to the other side of that creek, we'll be fine. Let's move! You're reminding me more of your father every minute. Come on, we're almost through. I recognize all of this. There's a rock ledge down there we used to hover boot off of. Straight into nothingness. <laughs> I was scared the first time. Your father? He didn't blink. Feels like this. General, can we talk about what happened? With my father. The Lombaxes. Now is not the time for destructions. Not when we're this close. You're doing great, Ratchet. Keep going, and don't look down! Easy, Ratchet. Easy. You're almost there. What did I tell you? A leap of faith! General, wait! Stop for a second. I want to know what happened. <laughs> questions, questions. You ask all these questions. Ask yourself this. How relevant is the past when it can be changed? Your father would have said not very. That's him. And you still haven't given me a straight answer. Now why aren't you with the Lombaxes? Because I failed them! After the Great War, Polaris was a dangerous place. Even with the Kragmites gone, I knew steps needed to be taken to protect the galaxy. One day, we were approached by an inventor with incredible ideas, technology light years beyond what we were using. The inventor was someone... someone your father warned me not to trust. Our kind had grown suspicious of him, but I was convinced this was the right thing to do. For the galaxy, I granted him full access to our technology, all of our secrets, only when he was finished. They took refuge in the court, but your father refused. He would never have left your mother.
when he made it back, she... She was already gone. I don't know how long he survived before Takian caught up with him, but I know I was responsible for his death. For my crimes, I was forbidden from joining the Lombaxes, and so I live in exile. I can make it right, Ratchet. All of it. I... We can fix it. With the clock under our control, it'll be like none of this ever happened. Stay with me, and I promise I'll get your family back. have no time for petty squabbles. Ratchet, remember the mission. The Obsidian Eye is all that matters. The Eye? It's in a temple. I can take you there. Please, we are not an aggressive race. Help us defeat the Agorians and I'll show you where it is.
getting over the ridge. We're gonna need some heavier firepower. Wait here. I'll cover you from the sky. Positions. Copy that. Stand by for nav sync. Some nanotech over here. How you feel? Outsiders, incredible. Lords, thank you. Happy to be of service. However, there is a matter of guiding us to the yeah. obsidian eye. Yes, of course. Naturally, I can't take you there myself. Far too treacherous for me. But here is something to help you through the caves. We closed these caves off years ago. Too many dangers, too many deaths. Perhaps that Omni Soaker will ward off the Tetramites. You two all right in there? Looks like the door rusted right off its track. I'll try to get it fixed, but um, uh, it might be a while. Try breathing real shallow-like. 
Well, looks like the only way out is in. What do you think? Should we give that Omni Soaker a try? Good. Now, see if you can use it to fatten up that hydro plant. To admire bullet engineering, that Omni yeah. so can suck up almost anything. Water. See that? Precus Wormroot produces a sugary nectar the Tetramites can't stay away from. Try your Omni Soaker on it. What did I tell you? They love it! Well, can't blame them really. That nectar makes an excellent tea. <laughs> That's Bolton Ivy, a living organism impervious to any munition in the known universe. You'll have to find a way to scare it. Bravo, Ratchet, bravo! Go on ahead, I'll find another way around. <laughs> have a problem. The wench crank for that mining platform is right next to a tetramite nest. We're too close to turn back now. Got any more of those flares? Be careful down there. Bombs away! Well done! Come on! The obsidian eyes right this way! Do you realize that we are just hours away from reversing the greatest tragedy in the history of the universe? Your mother, your father! They'll both be right here, safe and sound! You really think the clock can save them? That's what it was built for! Come on! Fulcrum's star is correct. 
We may not be able to get a signal. Stand by for system uplink. Clay! Ratchet, how did you find me? Are you kidding me? You think I'd leave my best pal out here alone? Who is that behind you? Is that a Lombax? Yeah, this is General Azimuth. He's been helping me look for you. Just send me your coordinates and we'll pick you up. Signal integrity, 33%. Ratchet, I need your help. Orvis is in trouble. You must go to Xenophar and confront Dr. Nefarious. Xenophar? Dr. Nefarious hasn't set foot on that rock since his station was completed two years ago. Then that is when you must confront him. Head to the Tomley outpost and look for a time portal. Please, save my father. Father? What's going on? <laughs> you cannot hide in the broom closet forever, Sigmund. Orbis needs our help. Now, can you synthesize a time portal on Xenophar? I suppose I could use the oscilloscopic entanglement modulator to create a vacuum of negative energy, theoretically creating a traversable wormhole. Time rift stabilized. Ta-da! If my nav unit's correct, our ships are right on the other side of this wall. Good work in there, Ratchet. I'll meet you on planet Xanafar. There's something I haven't told you about the clock. If we succeed, if we turn back time and stop Tachyon, the present as you know it will no longer exist. You mean I won't remember Clank? I mean, you will never have met him in the first place. The clock may offer some kind of temporal immunity for those who use it, but there are no guarantees. If this is my only chance to save my family, I have to take it. Good. Now don't be alarmed, but I just picked up Forcelon's signature not far from our location. I'll distract him while you head to the outpost. And remember, if Orvis is alive, it's imperative that you get the clock's location from him. Good luck. Another fu- Ratchet! Ratchet, come in! Are you out there? I read you, Quark. How are things with the Agorians? Eh, uh, not so good. Somehow they got the idea that I'm some thrill-seeking warrior with a thirst for battle. I'm Ratchet. <laughs> That's a silly name. What? You folks lose a bet? Kidding! I'm Mac. You have to excuse the hologram. Folks around here have a tendency to throw things. Take a look around. If you need anything, Max, you guy. You got something to prove, huh? You got Moxie, kid. I like that. Head over to the Gladiator entrance. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
about that, folks? Another amazing victory! Now, how about we give this Lombax a little backup? All right, please welcome, all the way from the Solana Galaxy, Mr. Copernicus Quark! It's Captain Quark. I didn't take a three-week hero correspondence course to be called Mr. <laughs> Easy on the goods, pal. Folks might remember Captain Cord from his brief stint as a famous superhero in the Falcon Galaxy. I don't remember it. In some fun way. physical condition. My sense is sharp as trillium raisin. Release the war, Grok! Tribesmen of Florana once referred to me as or he with mighty pecs who had delivered us serenity. But we cannot kill this creature. You must kill the Wargrok or die! Quark! This thing's trying to eat me! This Lombax is young. He does not understand that being a hero is 45% strength, 60% bravery, and 10% raw intelligence. <laughs> That's 115%! You're welcome. Please, take me instead. All that I ask is that you name something impressive in my honor. Perhaps a school or a food court. line of rocket-propelled incendiary devices. This explosive weapon was designed to solve problems in two easy steps. Point and shoot. Just aim the weapon at whoever's giving you grief and... Boom! Problem solved. The Negotiator. Available only at Grummelnet. Champion. 
Ratchet has defeated the Warbrock in battle and won the Bronze Cup. Attention, Battleplex patrons! The Agorian Council for equal opportunity to smash. Gladiators for the Silver Cup. So if you thirst for the eternal glory that only comes with needless violence, please check in at the arena entrance. Attention, Battleplex patrons. Our creature handler has uh, misplaced one of our war blocks. Do not be alarmed. The block has been fed and poses no threat to weaklings. Don't worry, you're sitting this one out. All right, Clank. So where is this time portal? You were one of the troops. They've been searching for me ever since I escaped the detainment camp. I need to get back to my hut before they close in. Can you help me get through the ivy?
An Omni Soaker! Thanks, Al. Come on, we'd better get moving before you find us. This was all farmland just a couple of years ago. We used to plant gardens all around the village, but they stopped when Nefarious crashed here. Now, can't remember why, exactly. Must be the time portal Clank was talking about. You enjoy working for Dark Nefarious. Dr. Nefarious. Hey! Are you here to help build Dr. Nefarious's outpost? Eh, we were about to build the bridge, but the winch crank rusted up. Nothing we can do. Not for a while. <laughs> we'll just have to wait for them to finish building the oil derrick so we can fix it. Praise Nefarious! What can I do for you this fine day? I was planting some vines when suddenly I felt the urge to stop and help our visitor build his new home. Have you met Dr. Nefarious yet? <laughs> He's great and wonderful. <laughs> Glad to help. I know more about horticulture than any fungoid on Xenophar. First, you need to scoop up a seed. Then, find a nice patch of soil. Then you just plant it, nice and deep. In a few years, you'll have a nice, healthy vine. Now, there are two more planters around here, if you want to give it a try. started growing yet. It'll take a few years. Dr. Nefarious is great. If I was down to my left...
your help, stranger. Well, now that our friends are free, we can shut down the outpost and restore the village. See you later, stranger. I'll come back anytime. and loosen up that winch crank, will ya? Dr. Nefarious can be trusted. Making a mistake. The clock is not a time machine. There is only one who will enter my chamber, and he is safe. Far from you. Where is he? Where did he go? Yeah, I don't know, sir. I'm pulling up a residual image from his database. We scanned it before he dissipated. Clank? Yo! Not so 
smart now, are you? You get it? Because he's a moron! Oh, Dr. Nefarious. You have such a wonderful sense of humor. And you're so, so...
Where is he, Porcelain? Let's see, now where did I put him? There's the air lock, there's the torture chamber, the day spa. Tell me what, defeat me and maybe I'll tell you. Ratchet, what are you doing? Relax, rescue missions are kind of my thing. Now, how do I lower the containment field? <sighs> These cables must lead to some sort of power supply. Follow them and destroy the containment generators. Forget about me! Go! Get to the clock! Save the Lombaxes! Yeah. 
Auschwitz will be here any minute. You have to go. The release lever's exposed. I know, I know. It was touch and go there for a while. But the old Lombax instinct kicked in and... You uh... fool! I told you to leave me. You shouldn't have come back! Wow. That was not the reaction I was expecting. You know, General, it's not like I've been here just sitting around all day. I've traveled back in time, found out what happened to Orvis... Back in time? When? How far? Not far enough. It's just... We're the only ones who can fix the past. I'm proud of you, Ratchet. Come on. It's time to go. Come on! We're getting out of here. Both of us. They're not going to let us off this ship without a fight. Are you ready? Looks like they locked down the hangar bay doors. Cover me while I hack the terminal. I don't believe it! Forzalon's entire flight log is on here! I've downloaded the data to my navigator. Give me just a few moments. Got it! Opening hangar bay doors now!
Lombax life form detected in Sector 7 hangar. All units converge and destroy. I'll radio as soon as I'm clear. Thanks for saving an old Lombax ratchet. Yeah, I'm clear. Were you able to decrypt Borsalon's flight data? They were encoded with a double hexagonal holokey, but one of the files was unprotected. It looks like coordinates to the Bernelia sector. Well, it's not much, but it's our only lead. Upload them to my ship and I'll meet you there. Ratchet out. Ratchet, come in. I just picked up a looping transmission on one of the emergency frequencies. Tell me what you make of this. I don't believe it. That's a distress call with Clank's signature. Aphelion, can you track the source? The origin appears to be planet Apedia. Acquiring coordinates now. Just think. By tonight, your friend will be safe and the clock will be ours. I'll be there as soon as I can. Looks like the mangy rot in the sound booth is giving me the stink. Bonjour, Monsieur Lombax. I see you picked up on our little signal. Unfortunately, this is as far as you go. You will pay for what you did to Libra.
Ophelion, give me a status update on Clank's transmission. The coordinates appear to be accurate, but the signal has weakened by 72.3%. That means Clank's in trouble. Hold on, pal. I'm coming. Clank's distress call terminates somewhere inside the Citadel. Welcome back. This calls for a classic smash and grab. some oil. Bolt wasn't the only thing starting the rust. Airship may be our ticket inside. See if you can unlock the loading platform. I'm impressed! 
this! Follow me! Galaxy's favorite Lombaxes. Come to rescue your little friend. Our quarrel isn't with you, Cassiopeia. Hand over Clank and we'll cause no more trouble. <laughs> cause no more trouble, huh? Karina and Libra are dead thanks to you. And now that we've gotten what we need from the caretaker, his time has come. Valkyries, destroy the Lombaxes! She's going to kill the Clank! I'm going after her! General, wait! to our Valkyrie training course. No man has ever survived! <laughs> Farewell, Ratchet. Take solace in the fact that you never stood a chance. No! 
Well, let's see how you survive a silo of deadly nerve toxin. the rest of them. I'm sorry, Ratchet. I should have known the Valkyries fake that distress call. It was foolish of me to suggest the assault. All that matters right now is Clank. Help me find him, General. I see. Yeah, I know. Time for another death trap.
the training course. It would have been a shame to lose such a worthy opponent to some cheap machine. Speaking of cheap machines, how much is your boyfriend paying you to do his dirty work? Talk. <laughs> And an amazing observation coming from some orphan doomed to spend his entire life alone. <laughs> that robot of yours was ready to kick up his little metal feet and stay in the great clock forever. Yeah, he wants to leave you, didn't you know that? Don't worry, I'll kill the both of you before he gets the chance. Clank! What have you done to him? Oh, nothing compared to what I'm about to do to you. Hello, Ratchet. <sighs> hey, pal. How you doing? Fine. You? <sighs> yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just gonna lie here for a while, though, okay? Whew. I'm sorry about your father, Clank. I should have stopped Nefarious sooner. It is all right, Ratchet. Nefarious will pay for what he has done. The only thing that matters now is that we keep the clock safe. Now, don't worry. Once the past has been corrected, you'll have the full support of the Lombax Praetorian Guard. <laughs> the clock will be in good hands. You do not understand. Time cannot be changed. Using the clock improperly could rip the very fabric of existence. Or it could save an entire race of Lombaxes who risked their lives to defend this galaxy. Ratchet, remember the Dimensionator. Some risks are not worth taking. Well, maybe Clank's right. If there's even a chance it could destroy the universe, the risk is just too great. Risk? <laughs> risk is what makes us who we are. Ratchet, our kind is lost without us. Think of how many that clock can save. Think of your parents. I'm sorry. We need to stop Nefarious before he makes the same mistake we almost did. So, you coming, General? General? to our ship. There's no time to explain. We need to stop Nefarious from reaching the clock. We're on our way to the station now, but you have to find a way to stall him. Way ahead of you, Ratchet. In fact, I'm further undercover than I've ever been before. Ever. In fact, we get home, never talk about this again. Intrusion, but the 
time. I'm on an asteroid inside the main perimeter. Come meet me as soon as you can. I have triangulated Captain Quark's position. Sink into your nebula. Now. the one sitting on the sidelines while everyone else marches into certain death. Sit on the sidelines? And let this baby go to waste? It's one of those cool smoke bombs the spies use. You know, for making quick and fancy getaways. Oh, forget it. Here, it's my most ingenious foolproof plan yet. The Nefarious Space Station. An impenetrable fortress fraught with danger and, uh, windows. Using my feminine wiles, I was able to convince the custodial staff to temporarily reroute the South Wing trash chute. This will be our point of entry. With the motion sensors deactivated, we should have smooth sailing into the South Wing. Harnessing eight years of high school theater workshops, I will remain undercover as the lovely Shannon. My objective will be to escort you here. Whoops. <laughs> That's a vacation picture from the Maktar Resort Single Mingle. Don't know how that got in there. I'll escort you here to a conveniently exposed thermal exhaust port. We will then endure rigorous calisthenics until we have lost enough body fat to squeeze through the port. Maybe I should handle this part of the mission. Uh, sure, that sounds quicker. Now, that port leads directly to Nefarious's personal quarters. Using the gigamorphic holoray, you'll be able to scan him and create a holographic disguise for Ratchet. With the disguise engaged, we should be able to breeze past the guards and infiltrate Mission Control, where we'll use the main security terminal to atomize every docked ship in the fleet. With Nefarious trapped like a rat and the clock safe, we can contact galactic authorities so that I may bask in the awesome glow of their admiration. All right, I have to ask, what's with the nurse's outfit? Ingenious, isn't it? It's part of an elaborate deception plan. It mostly involves a lot of hip swinging and puppy dog eyes. Well, white's certainly your color. Oh, thanks. I always fancied myself a winter. Here we are. The final showdown between good and evil. Can you smell that? That's drama, baby. I smell something, and it's definitely not drama. Hey, look on the bright side. At least we're not being squished to death by the pistons. Charge compactor initiated. Prepare to be compacted. Arms burning, calves looking good. Blockage detected in trash compactor 714. Shutting down compactor. That 
Ratchet, did you hear that? I did it! Ha <laughs> ha! Technology! I just made you my... That one was a little too close. The troopers will be here any moment. We need to keep moving. The maintenance sector is crawling with nefarious goons. This might call for a little finesse. Watch and learn. Hello there. I'm Nurse Shannon. This is Dr. Archibald von Fuzzy Pants and his robotic intern, Gundolf Metalsprocket. Dr. Nefarious is expecting us. You are not authorized. Prepare to die, Nurse Shannon. How do they not fall for that? This elevator appears to be coded into Nefarious' circuitry. We will need the hollow guys to access it. Looks like we're not out of the wood yet. Work. Blank, phase two is your part of the mission. 
up into the vent and head for Nefarious's office. We'll, uh, go. Computer, take dictation. Go ahead, Doctor. Things to do once the clock is under my control. Number one, double-cross remaining Valkyries and retire Lord Vorsala. Number two, re-establish vendetta against organic life forms. Ah, number three, iron socks. Hollow guys complete. I'm returning to the rendezvous point. Hmm. Huh. Must have forgot to tune the auto scaler. Ah, well, close enough. Try your vocal modulator. Test, test. One, two. It works. Now, let's finish this and go home. Where are you, Lawrence? Yes, sir. You're right. Get lost. Take him away. Good day, sir. Where are you, Lawrence? Dance, you fools. What? No theme music. Lawrence! Yes, sir. You're right. I really am quite busy, sir. What do you mean? Right away, sir. Time for phase three. When we get to the hub, I'll distract the guards while you gain access to the Hypernova defense laser. Got it. How do I do that? I'm not 100% on that one, but I'm sure you'll think of something. Just remember, keep it on the low, low. Avert your eyes from the exalted one. Nothing to see here. Get lost. He looks That's your fools. This is you. That's your fools. Doctor Nefarious! You didn't have to come over here. The Hypernova Defense Laser is quite capable of clearing the debris. So, would you like to test it out? The controls are yours, sir. Only a few asteroids remain, sir. Would you like to do the honors? I feel very close to you right now. Come on, we gotta keep moving.
You know, oftentimes when I say this, it results in catastrophe, but what the hey? Mission accomplished. You're not Dr. Nefarious! <laughs> Nefarious, you can't use the clock. Nothing you could want is worth risking the universe. Oh, but there is. And I have you three to thank for it. Initiate Super Wavy Flashback Effect! <laughs> Thanks to you and your dim-witted friend here, I found myself drifting through the cosmos. Have you ever spent time on an asteroid? It's surprisingly boring! Nothing for a villain to do but dwell on his failure! Then, one day, the fungoid saved us. But still, failure burned inside my circuitry! How could I have been defeated by the likes of you? Why had the universe been tipped in your favor? I embarked on a crusade to the inner recesses of what you call the soul. I studied fungoid meditation, attended anger management class, dabbled in yoga, attended more anger management class, until finally I went on a spirit walk on planet Quantos. It was here I finally found what I had been missing. The Great Clock! With the clock under my control, I'll be able to wrong all the rights in the universe. Every villain who has ever stumbled will get a do-over. Every protagonist's triumph will be reversed! Until finally, a new present is created, in which the heroes always lose! <laughs> Hang on, cadets! Well, that was five bolts wasted. How do you like my Asteroid Flinger 5000? I had it installed in the event I ever needed a super ironic death scenario! Nefarious, you're making a mistake! Time will tell. Bon voyage, my old nemesis! <laughs> You're just a lonely man, Lance. Boarding a lonely train on its way to Lonely Town. So help me, it's true. All aboard to Lonely Town. Choo choo, Janice. Choo choo. <laughs> the Sony protected us during the crash. We must not reach the clock. Thanks for the help, guys. What? I'll give them back. Ratchet, we do not have a lot of time. Destroying the Armada will not keep Nefarious away from the clock for long. There's no time to contact the Black Authority. Come on! There's gotta be a ship somewhere on this back part of planet. Have you come to hear about the historic battle of Gimlik Valley? <laughs> Actually, we're trying to stop an evil mastermind Splendid. from... Splendid! <laughs> it all started years ago, when I was just a child. <laughs> Chief Zahn Gribnak was manning his post at the Arundai outpost, when suddenly... 
<laughs> Evil Commander Argos attacked! Desperate to protect our village, Gribnak led a team of undertrained, poorly equipped soldiers into battle. Sadly, victory would not be theirs. <laughs> Chief Gribnak and his noble lot were captured, imprisoned, briefly pardoned, imprisoned again, and killed. The death of Zahn left us defenseless. Without him, Commander Argos laid waste to our village by destroying the Arundai floodgate. It was a crushing defeat. Oh, if only Zahn had been here to defend us against Argos. I guess you can't change the past. Huh. Ratchet, I believe I may have a way to help the Fongoids and give us a ride. Head to that time rift. Sigmund, come in. I need you to stabilize a time portal into the Battle of Gimlik Valley. Accessing Brigus Almanac now, sir. Got it. Stabilizing time rift in three, two, one. Out of the shelter. Your mother will be very disappointed. But this Lombax is here to help us. I'm Ratchet. This is Clank. I'm Zahn. This is Tufer and Enot. Yurik, go take shelter with the others. We'll protect the floodgate.
Commander Argos is trying to flood the valley. We have to get to the top of the floodgate. I think I have an idea. We have to find some of those vine seeds. I do not understand. How will seeds help us defeat the Agorians? Trust me. chances that would happen. You do not want to know. Come on, let's get back to the present. Go 
Lords will remember this day forever. We owe the both of you our gratitude. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, now that you mention it, we'd love to use that ship. Well, it might take some time to fetch it out of the creek, but when we do, it's all yours. Now, if you'll excuse us, we must tend to the other villagers. doesn't start until tonight. Reenactment? Well, sure! Yeah. Of the historic Battle of Gimlet Valley. It was a shining victory in fungoid history. <laughs> Say, do I know you two? You look awfully familiar. Uh, nope. First time here. And our second. <laughs> we were just admiring your Agorian space cruiser. She's perfectly restored. I was going to take her up for the show, but her batteries are dead. <laughs> I believe we may be of assistance. If we were to bring back a few battery bots, would you allow us to borrow your ship? Well, I suppose that'd be okay. So long as I got it back in time for the show. <laughs> if you find any battery bots, just toss them into these charging stations. That should power up the Versa fuses. Yeah. Uh, real tough guy, huh? Peace, okay? Okay. Altimeter, thruster, warp drive. Perhaps we should read the instruction manual. See? Nothing to it. And now the booster. That is the radio. Oh, hold on, I'll just. Yo, no, uh, that knob wasn't supposed to pop off, was it? Why do I even bother? Snowball, get him! Good work, Snowball! Tear up your bits for daddy! Gotcha! You're back! You hold off the boots. You just go for the barrier! You guys messed with the wrong war rock.
That's far enough, Nefarious. Step away from the transport. You! How is this possible? You should be dead! On behalf of Galactic Authorities, we hereby charge you with willful disruption of the space-time continuum. Shut down the transport and surrender quietly. Look at you. Free for the first time in years, inches from your destiny, and what do you do? Run right back to playing backpack to a squishy. You're nothing but a pathetic sidekick. We should hang out sometime. That's it. No one talks to Clank that way. When this is over, I'll back whatever decision you make. But first, how about one final hurrah so we can kick this guy's butt? When I'm finished killing you, I think I'll rewind time. So I can do it again. And again! And again! <laughs> a long time for this! Lawrence, fall back to the outer perimeter! Let no damage befall our ship! Falling back, sir. Happy fighting. You're a match this time, Ratchet! Insolent little squishy! Lawrence before he takes the escape pod. 20 seconds until impact. Clank, it's been one heck of a ride. Watch it! Come on! You're gonna have to jump! 10 seconds until impact.
So, I can't talk you out of this, can I? Ratchet, we have been on many adventures, but the clock needs someone to protect it. It is what I was built for. Wait, so that's it? What about the Lombaxes? They're not in danger, they've just moved on. And we'll find them. But the past stays where it is. Come on, pal. I'll walk you in. You were never a sidekick. You do know that, right? I always thought that you were the sidekick. <laughs> where are you going? This is your responsibility. You can't just walk away. The Lombaxes need us! Don't walk away from me! I said stop! Time shift in 
He did a brave thing, Ratchet. You should be proud of him. Well, looks like there's just one more thing to fix. Timekeeper restored. I'll leave you two alone. Take care of yourself, pal. I cannot stay. I am sorry, but discovering my family has made me realize that I cannot leave Ratchet. Not until he finds his own. I hope you understand. You're leaving? 
energy output normal. Harmonic stabilizers stable. Why aren't I freaking out? Perhaps you are ready to be promoted. Senior caretaker? Yippee! Thank you, sir. Take care, Sigmund. The clock, much like time itself, is a gift and not to be tampered with. But like any father, my only wish is that my son does that which makes him feel whole. You are an intelligent and logical being, Clank. But intelligence and logic would have been wasted gifts without honor and loyalty. I am proud to see you came into those on your own. So, should the clock be too small for your plans, I pray the cosmos light the way towards a future you yourself design. And remember, the universe has a wonderful sense of humor. The trick is learning how to take a joke. <laughs> Hello! Celebrity in need of assistance! What's that, Snowball? Little Jimmy fell down a well? Oh, you're hungry for blood. Oh, I was way off. Let me just... Oh, boy, this is bad. Uh, little help here. Ratchet! Blank! Helga! Anyone? Nice, Snowball. No, Snowball! Down, Snowball! Hey, hey, hey! Easy on the goods!